Pay no mind to the pictures in the background. But you know what these pictures are of. They are of characters that are main characters, not main line, main characters in the Transformers lore that you have to pay through the nose if you didn't get it on time because it was a store exclusive. The pictures, they're all there. You should know them all. You know, I, the ones I can remember, I can't remember everything. And I didn't want to make this like a 30 minute video explaining every stupid store exclusive. But these are the ones that I could put together that were of main characters. So let me start with that. So first things first, we got this Ironhide and, and of course we'll be proud next. Those two characters are definitely main characters. Ironhide practically is like Optimus Prime. They're almost interchangeable. Heck, they got the same voice actor. Then of course you got Prowl, who's the number one security expert pole pole for the Transformers. He is in episode one. And at least every episode in season one. I don't know about season two, but I definitely know he's in a, pretty much the whole episodes of season one. And you're going to tell me I can't just go to the store and pick him up. The Earth version, the one that's more recognizable by all collectors, I can't go and pick him up because he's an Amazon exclusive. But I can pick up every other character. I can pick up obscure characters because you didn't make them exclusive, but because they wanted these, and then the distribution is wonky. How the hell are you going to shoot the collectors in the foot? Now you got to go back and make a new figure. Am I right or wrong? We'll get to that. So these two, we got uh, Ramjet and Dirge. The other two that um, were their main characters. They are main characters. Season two, the main seekers were Thrust, Dirge, and Ramjet. So you're going to say, oh, that's a store exclusive now. And of course, poor my poor friends in Canadian in Canada got shafted. But luckily... Somebody in Hasbro is smart enough to say, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and really release this figure, make our little bit of money, the mold's already made, package them in Legacy, it's going to sell because I mean, people got theirs. What a win-win for corporations these days. And can you stop shadow banning my channel, please? Yes, I know you do it. But yeah, that this store exclusives for main characters is just wrong. They, you need to tell me, now I had to wait two and a half years later to get Dirge? And when are we going to get Thrust? Now, I have all of these. And mind you, I got lucky uh, with the Dirge and Ramjet because at the time, I think, well, unfortunately, it was surprisingly that my wife wore it. This, but, you know, the situation changed. However, and she did work. Yeah, that's right. She did work for me. Well, I give her a props for that one, but whatever. It doesn't matter. No. But I got thrust off of eBay for about 43 bucks. What about those who couldn't get them? Mm. Now, soundly, this one was worse because... I never found him at Walmart. And we got, this is Rollin, the capital of North Carolina. Walked in a newer Walmart, a newer super Walmart. They usually have stuff that the ones in my neighborhood don't have because they get scalped hard. Man, they ain't had him either. I've never seen Soundwave until I bought him off of eBay. Now, I was able to get him for 70 bucks, which is still too high, but that's 70 shift. Think about it, it cost him what 10 to 15 bucks to ship. It is right around Christmas time, so you know, I was like, Yeah, they give me the best shipping that you can give me. Um, and I think he probably made 10 bucks because if you think about it, 70 ship the toy was 39.99, that's 40 bucks with tax 45. Uh, if you had to ship it, maybe 10 to 12 bucks, so you're already at like 57. So the extra 13 is what he made. I give it to him, go figure. Now, the next two that a lot of people and I was definitely frustrated with was the Lifeline and the Ratchet. A lot of people want the Lifeline and Earthrise Ratchet because at the time, the Earth style figures were the hotness. Everybody wanted hot, you know, and these, of course, again, you have to fill out your ranks with the most important characters. Ratchet is one of the most important characters from G1 and G2 because he fixes the Autobots along with Wheeljack. Again, Lifeline, she was in the episode of season three, so I'm like, ah, I don't remember, I don't really care. But you know, everybody wants the ratchet. What happened? The price goes up three to four times the value. They were selling this for three hundred dollars a two pack, which was what fifty bucks, forty forty bucks for a three. No, literally the price came down to three hundred to two hundred to one hundred. I stepped in on this at eighty dollars, so I already paid more than what I paid for it. I just didn't pay that super high price. Not only to turn around, they're going to bastardize it because now they got the. Studio Series 86 version. Again, should not happen. This figure, $50 paywall. You ain't paid $50, you're never going to get this figure. Every time this pops up on Hasbro Pulse, it's gone. 
and that little one hour window that they give to the fifty dollar folks, they done scooped them up and put it right back on eBay. All right, so Hasbro, thanks, but Mattel doesn't do this. The same company you partner with, any exclusives for the Redline Club, are Redline Club exclusives. So it's not, oh, Cliff Jumpers exclusive now. Pay fifty dollars. No, this the mainline cars are always going to be a dollar. Even the ones that are specialties are always going to be a little more, but you can still go to the store and readily find them. It's only the RLC cars that are the specially made cars specifically that are done in where you have to be a member. And membership for a whole year, if you don't even get the club car, that's only $10 versus $50. And what do you get for $50? Nothing. So Hasbro, you might want to think about that. Mattel's still outpacing you when it comes to exclusive hands and feet and i can prove it because i've been buying all of this i've been buying all of these i got red line club i got you tell me why i don't got hasbro please because i got your stuff too now at cosmos this is how i feel about cosmos throw the whole cosmos away because there's no way in hell i'm gonna overpay for that mother you best believe i'm not overpaying for that figure a main a main character figure now he's a main character season two he did a lot in season two for the transport so he's not just hell skids is probably the most Skids was a mainline release, but how many episodes is Skid in? Skids in, you tell me. Uh, it's not a lot. The Cosmos was in way more. And, you know, for what he can do being small, but he was basically carrying all the Autobots. Yeah, it's an iconic character. I should not have to go through hoops and hurdles trying to get this figure. It's not special. It's just Cosmos. It's, he's not Super Cosmos or Cosmos 2. He's just Cosmos. Red and yellow and mostly all green turns into a weird looking UFO like figure but you gonna tell me I gotta go to Walmart who for some reason had it readily available but you can't buy it because they can't figure out how to stop scalpers and Walmart's notoriously bad their website's probably I put it on the bottom and hands down I don't like buying stuff from here because it just I feel like I'm gonna get scalped or I man scalped it hacked or something because it's so they, they, you talking about sketch. You think TF Source being on Target's store is sketch? You see all the sketchy stores they got at the Walmart marketplace? Ugh. And the thing is how they loop it in with all the regular toys. It's hard to tell if it's an actual Walmart price or if it's an actual store price. That's the other reason why I don't like buying from Walmart. Because they, they don't care. They just want money. And so when I see Hasbro doing stuff like this, it's kind of like, man, you shouldn't collect this in the face. Because it's very hard to find these characters. And these are... These are main characters, man. Hasbro, you got to stop it. With the main characters, yes. Anything else, bet. But with the main characters, it's got to stop. 